at this one before, but Ashley from Danger Zone, she rang the Portland Hospital after Megan <coughs> gave birth. But this is an article now saying, I was working on a night shift at one of the several London hospitals. One of my midwife friends came barreling down to where I was working to tell me that the DOS, Duchess of Sussex, had given birth that night at around 5.20am. So I phoned a col colleague at the Portland and another colleague phoned the Linda Wing at St Mary's in Paddington. Got it confirmed that there were no reports of any very special babies being born. We all thought it very, very odd. So I asked one of the midwives at the Portland if she could have been delivered at home and brought in. She said no, and she told me that it was highly unlikely they would take such a huge risk like that in view of it being a royal, a first baby, and a geriatric pregnancy. We thought the baby was born at another time and day in a completely diff different place. But then there's that odd-looking Paddington Portland Hospital birth certificate, which doesn't look right either. I was expressly told that all senior type royals have two doctors, two midwives, sometimes there's three, one on standby, and at least one mum and one for baby, an anaesthetist on standby, a senior obstetrician, often the Queen's own obstetrician gynaecologist, the father and maybe one other family member, and one royal protection officer by the door of the suite, and one armed, one outside the door to the suite. Surely that's enough people to sign a birth certificate. There's even, the proof is there, folks. It's, it's everywhere. That, the baby was born to the surrogate. The surrogate was in a London hospital somewhere, but God knows where. Um, yeah, Rousey Girl says, she didn't birth that baby. It is disgraceful that we are being taken for fools, and we are. And the thing is, the reason Meghan Markle is getting so much bad flack is that when you base your family, your whole royal life on a huge lie, it, it's it's despicable. Not only, it's not just a lie, you see, because without the Megan, excuse me, <coughs> oh, tickle, <coughs> Megan Archie is not in line to the throne if he's not born of the body, you know this, and so she would have to give up Archie's rights to the throne. And she's as stubborn as a mule, you know that, and she's not going to do it. And will her Sussex squad allow her to do it? This has turned into a, a catch-22 situation where something has got to give. And then Meghan Markle and, and, and Harry are nothing more than professional freeloaders. How about that? That's another article from CCN, which is there for you. Why don't you just pop on to 